Hi everybody, this is Daniel from the Men's Dating Game YouTube channel and in this video I am going to teach you how to build confidence to talk to girls and I'm going to give you 10 top tips. So in order for me to achieve that, this is what I will give you in this tutorial. You will get powerful tips that you can put into practice right away to build confidence. You will learn a good way to start small simple conversations with women. You will learn some useful strategies to help you get motivated to start talking to women. Learn how to use your body language to improve your confidence. You will learn about some top tips to help you improve your self-image and self-esteem. And you'll get further resources to help you improve your skills in this area. So there's a few reasons why you should stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Let's get into the tutorial. Tip one, develop the right mindset to build your confidence. If you want to build your confidence to talk to girls that you like, then you will need to work on your mindset as a starting point. It is important that you develop the right mindset before talking to a girl. The mindset I'm about to share with you should give you enough confidence for the first transition of the new you. Whenever you think about going up to a woman, I want you to think to yourself, about the worst that she can say to you is no. You will need to think about it like this. Most men do not go up to girls out of fear of rejection. The fact is that many men are insecure and take rejection too seriously. Most men do not realize that the worst women can do is simply say no. If she does say no, you will need to move on and go to the next one. She says no, you should be thinking this is her, lo this is her loss. If you do get a rejection or a blowout, then you need to think about it in a different way. That she did not reject you as a person, she only rejected your approach. If she says yes, you have everything to gain from the interaction that you have. If you go in with this mindset, you will soon realise that talking to girls is fairly straightforward. Tip 2. Make good eye contact with girls you talk to to build your confidence. There are lots of men out there that usually commit a fatal mistake when engaging in a conversation with the woman. These men do not have good eye contact. Now, as a guy, I know that all guys have done this at least one time. Have you ever talked to a girl and aimlessly your eyes automatically wanders to the girl's chest? Then when you realise what you have done, you hope that she did not notice. Guys, more than likely, they probably did notice. When a girl does notice this type of behaviour from you, this puts you in the same category that they put most of the men that walk up to them. Just another man who wants sex and nothing more. If and when this does happen, your chances of getting any further with the female, female go down quite a lot. You'll need to ensure that you keep your eyes on her eyes when you are talking to a girl. You will need to remember this. Girls do look to see if you are really paying attention to what, what, what they have to say. If your eyes begin to wander to anywhere lower than, lower than their chin, you are sending them the wrong signals. You will need to make sure you keep your eyes on their eyes, not their chest. Good eye contact shows you have a level of confidence. With a good intense stare, you can create attraction with a girl and build sexual tension quicker. Tip three, show her you have a sense of humour to display confidence. You can use humour in your interactions when you are talking to a girl. The best way to do this is by using cheeky, cocky and playful humour in some way. If you can be funny with a girl, this shows her that you have confidence. Being funny is always good when you are talking to a girl. If you can make a girl laugh consistently, you'll be more likely you will more than likely leave a good first impression on the girl after you leave her. She is far more likely to respond positively to you in the future. You can use humour in a conversation with women in a variety of ways, and you should try and do this whenever you can. Humour can be used as a very good conversation starter to use with women. If you can implement some funny humour in a playful and cheeky way, in with your own opinions on relationships, the conversations that you have with girls will be easier and your confidence will increase. 
You should try and incorporate all the things I have just mentioned and you will naturally begin to talk to girls and engage in great, fun and dynamic conversations with the girls that you talk to. Tip four, start with the small things and work up. You can start small when going out to build up your confidence to talk to girls. A common mistake men will often make when going out is thinking he's only going to talk to the most attractive women he sees in that situation. Then when a man sees that attractive woman, he will feel nervous. His head will normally fill up with doubts and excuses and he will usually be too nervous and will be unable to approach her. This will usually create more anxiety for the men who take this kind of behaviour. But the confidence you need to approach a beautiful woman can be built up gradually. You should be looking to strike up conversations in low pressure situations with whoever happens to be around. Girls, guys you're not attracted to, the waiters, staff, anybody. You can build up your confidence just by making small, low key chit chat with anyone. Just get comfortable breaking the ice and being social with both men and women. When you begin to warm up that social muscle, you will notice your confidence building and it will be easier and easier to initiate conversations with women. When you have built that momentum, built up that momentum, it will be way easier for you to walk up to that attractive, beautiful woman that you see across the bar. In fact, you might even find after you have been talking to everybody else, it may feel like a little weird not to go to approach the attractive lady you see in the bar. Tip five. Take it one step at a time to build your confidence. Many men around the world find the idea of approaching a woman and carrying a conversation beyond, beyond the initial high can feel rather daunting. You will need to think about this in a different way. You really can gain confidence in your conversation skills through practice and by taking things one step at a time. If simply approaching women is very difficult for you, then you can start by just getting used to doing something simple and easy like breaking the ice. You can try and go around the bar giving cheers and high fives to the people passing by. When you get more comfortable doing that, you can then start to throw out some light banter. Just a line or two that's light, fun and playful. When you do this, you will find eventually it will be no problem to banter with anyone for a few minutes. When you have reached that stage, you can look to take the, the interaction further through the qualification and rapport phases. This is basically you getting to know her on a more personal level and start building sexual tension in the interaction. When you are doing this, you should always look to build your skills by taking your next interaction one step further than your previous one. If you keep at it and you will be able to, con you'll be able to confidently talk to the women you are attracted to in no time at all. Tip six, take the pressure off meeting women. If you are like some men who may be terrified by meeting women that they still need that extra push to get out there and do it. If you think that you are in that category, then here are some exercises that you can do that will help you get motivation to start talking to women. You can use positive affirmations. When you are thinking about approaching a woman, before approaching a woman, remind yourself of something positive. Something like, the outcome doesn't matter. Women enjoy meeting me. Or you can try something like, I'm a sexy motherfucker. You can use anything that resonates with you and helps you get more motivated to get out there and do it. You can make approaching women about something else. When you go out, you can give your friend your car keys and tell him not to give them back until you approach at least 10 women. You can make a deal with your buddy that you must approach any woman he points to and if you don't, you owe him $5. Now, rather than being nervous about making a good first impression with any woman, the interaction becomes much more about getting your car keys and keeping your money. This will give you that extra kick that you may need. Plus, since you are not focused on the outcome of the interaction, you will likely be much less nervous and have more fun with it. You can find supportive people to try, find like, try to find like-minded guys to help you in this area. Making a change isn't easy. It's even harder if you try to go it alone. You should try and find some people in your life that will support you in your quest to get more confidence and experience with women. 
These people can hold you accountable and make sure you spend Friday night approaching women and not going through material. It could be a friend, a family member, a professional coach, pen pal, anyone who you can think could, that could actually help you. Tip seven, get rid of any fear you have with action. If you want to improve your confidence with women, at some point you have to just do it. The real progress is made when you step outside of your familiarity, familiarity zone and take the actions that can help you become more confident with women. When you get an opportunity to approach a beautiful woman, and by the way, there are many that you get each day and every day, you'll gain more courage and as a result, your confidence will begin to grow. When you begin to do the things that may initially scare you, your comfort zone will begin to expand. And what was once difficult becomes a little bit easier each time you do it again and again. You can start doing easy approaches like asking for directions from both men and women that you see in the street. You could then build up to more bolder approaches which will have more interaction and engagement. The process of doing this is called progressive desensitization. This is basically where someone like you can become free from fear, from the thing that you fear by gradually exposing themselves to the thing that is feared. Tip eight, visualize the confidence and success you want. You can also use a very powerful technique, which is used by many successful people around the world, including world champion athletes. This technique is called visualization. This is a secret weapon for sports psychologists because sometimes you have to see it inside your mind before you can do it in real life. There have been many studies that show that the same neurons are activated in the brain when a person begins to visualize an activity as opposed to actually doing the activity. If you feel that you lack confidence when you talk to a beautiful woman, then you could take a few minutes every day to see yourself confidently approaching and flirting with women. This technique will help you to shift your mindset in a very positive way so that you can see yourself becoming a more confident person with women in the future. Tip nine, work on your fashion sense and dress like a winner. You can dramatically improve your confidence by working on and improving your self image. When you have a strong self image, this will reflect and show in your body language and help you to become more confident. You can instantly improve your self image and confidence with just changing one element of clothing that you could wear. Don't you feel like a stud every time you put on a well fitted suit? The reason that you feel good when you wear a suit or similar clothing with a jacket is because whenever you step into a high class outfit, you get a shot of serotonin, which is a happy chemical that is associated with status. In other words, you can simply trick your body into feeling high status just by looking and dressing in a certain way or by changing the clothing that you wear. If you work on your sense of fashion and model and, model and dress the way that other very successful men dress, then you too can feel more successful and much more powerful and more confident. Tip 10, take good self care by grooming every day. You will need to start with the basics. Personal grooming is simply one of those things that women pay a world of attention to, and many men unfortunately do not pay enough attention and it often shows in a negative way. Please do not let this happen to you. I want you to think about this for a moment. The way that you treat your own body is really a reflection of your own self-esteem. This in turn reflects on your confidence. When you step outside the door with your hair unkept, your fingernails overgrown and your stubble a few days old, you will be effectively telling anyone who crosses your path that you don't really think much of yourself at all. Women will usually pick up on this quite quickly. This type of behaviour will not help you at all. I will not be asking you to spend hundreds of dollars on fancy haircuts and beauty treatments. You should try to spend around 20 minutes of your time every morning to trim, shave and clip as necessary to make sure you look well groomed before you leave the house. You should try and make this the first thing you do in your daily confidence building regime. If you would like to learn how to build a high level of inner confidence that will give you more opportunity with the women that you meet, then our Confidence Unleashed program is for you.
The information contained in this programme will hand you access to much more than just happiness in your love life. Be prepared, click the link below my video now or go to our website where you can access the programme. Confidence Unleashed is one of the most powerful confidence accelerator programmes you will ever experience. You can find the link which is in the description box below the video. I hope you have enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, please stick them in the comments section below this video and we'll get back to you. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and remember to click on the notification bell. This way you'll get notified when we release a new video. Thank you for watching and have a brilliant day.